Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another jank-specific World of Super Mario 2.5-inch diorama and playset video. You know how much I love these. Recently, last year, I did a full, complete collection of every single level released up to that point, and yes, we're getting to that point where we should do an update video, probably at the end of this year. But today, we're headed to the Soda Jungle with a brand new diorama set. And for those of you that don't know, these are add-on parts and pieces to the larger levels at hand. So for the Soda Jungle diorama sets, you get Mario, you get a piranha plant, you get little parts and pieces, some new, not always, but you get to see everything inside the box, along with the backside that gives you a little bit of a write-up, a little bit of an idea of what the soda jungle entails. That's a great set of levels, right? A lot of poison, but still a lot of fun. A lot of warp pipe action, of course, and then every other set in recent terms that you can grab for your collection, and I highly recommend them. Now, mine came from Amazon, but it remains to be seen if these will actually hit stores, but here's the barcode just in case. Now, you've looked at the diorama, and now we have the larger Soda Jungle playset. So these go together, parts and pieces, make it your own Mario Maker the heck out of this thing. And what I really like seeing, what Jax does so well, is that they implement parts and pieces from the various worlds that these playsets are based off of. Some are home runs, some are, yeah, could have been a little bit better. So it remains to be seen how this one will go. You can read up on the Soda Jungle playset. It comes with a Mario figure. The Koopa is not included, just FYI. And then, of course, here is the barcode as well. And like I said, this is based off of new Super Mario Brothers U. All of the playsets that they've done has been variations of all the different levels, the ghost houses, the toad houses, you get the idea. But, like I said, Jax does a wonderful job at bringing the fun of the video games into tiny little plastic form. And when you have them all together, my God, is it amazing. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Jack specific World of Super Mario from their 2.5-inch collection, the Soda Jungle Playset and the Soda Jungle Diorama Set. Let's go! So now here's everything taken out of both of the packages, and as to not confuse those of you at home, we'll start on the left with the diorama set first, of which you get a green warp pipe. As those of you know, they've been collecting these. This is not the first time we've seen a green warp pipe, although it's very integral to Mario Brothers, right? It has a little mechanism on the side, a little lever, allows you to push it up and down, elevating your character, doing the whole and it's very effective. So, you take your Mario, you put him inside the warp pipe, you get him going up and down. I would like to see going forward some peg holes on the figures and some pegs inside the green warp pipe so that he stands a lot better, right? That way you're not popping him out every two seconds. It does work with the piranha plant. If you want to go that route, however, because his leaves stick out to the sides, it will get kind of cumbersome moving him up and down in a fluid sort of motion. Now, the piranha plant himself, herself, itself, whatever, it is nicely done. For 2024, as seeing this mold for years and years and years now, it still has nice crisp paint, the teeth are nice and sharp, but as they've been updating the 2.5 inch figures with some articulation, let's get a chomping jaw going. I think that that would really make this pop. Mario himself, the main drawback for this is that this Mario is not the newest one with all the latest and greatest articulation, which then, as you'll soon see with the level playset Mario, you really only need one, right? It kind of does everything. This is a nice new addition, though, with the Wiggler. Now, this is listed as a baby Wiggler. It's just a smaller Wiggler. That's how I refer to it. But it has all the articulation as the larger Wiggler, which we got last year. So everything moves. The legs, the shoes, all the different segments in its body, that is very cool. And again, largely, it's all colored plastic for, for what paint it does have. It's cool. Even the little flower on his head moves. But that's nice to see. So you have a larger Wiggler and a baby Wiggler. And this right here. This is a perfect addition to what I want to see for when you want to build out and display your levels. This is a star coin of which each level usually has around three of these, right? Which... Would have been great to have three and also a stand to put this on so that you're just not 
putting it in there, right? Something to hang it or elevate it. That would have been really cool. Hopefully we can see that going forward with any future release of Star Coins. Now, with the level itself, this is where it's a really nice looking level, let's say, right? So you get the little teeter totter, little elevated mushroom, whatever the heck this thing is supposed to be. And it's got nice paint every which way. It's got the whole wraparound candy cane looking thing. And then it has a little base with the leaves and the ground. So again, very much Super Mario Brothers. And the best part is it has this little feature right here, which will then have the characters going to and fro. And it is ratcheted, but that's where some pegs would come in handy, right? So you could put the character on and you got fallen off every two seconds. You also get this big chunk of land right here. And this is what's gonna start the level off. Again, very detailed out, nicely sculpted, beautifully, not painted, but beautifully plastic, right? It's all colored plastic. But it is very effective and very evocative of the Mario level. So you have the flat top right there. Plug this in into the base and you're going to have your Mario off on his new level adventure. Now, we've seen this before as well. You have the two blocks. You have the question mark in the middle and you have the button underneath. And essentially, as you plug this into the back of the greenery of the level, push the coin down and then on the bottom, you use Mario to then pop the coin up and he gets a coin, right? And thus you take your Mario, boom, you hit the coin block, collect your coins and you can buy stuff. Now you have again, another piece of land. It's like a bit of a, a slide, kind of, sort of, but it is a level element that you see when you're running along each of these Soda Jungle levels. Plugs into the base, looks nice, very cool, nicely sculpted. Now the backside is this giant floral piece, right? And this is a giant sticker. It is very much a well-printed sticker, we'll just say. Nothing pixelated, everything looks good. On the backside, not much happening. It's just very plasticky with the hole at the top where you're gonna plug in the blocks with the coin. Nicely done. And then finally, I think the best part about this level playset is the slimy, poisonous goo that if you fall in that, you're dead. The color looks great. I love that it's like that clear plastic purple, which is so effective, right? It's very evocative, again, of the Super Mario Soda Jungle. You have two of those, and those are gonna interconnect and lay the groundwork for your entire level fun. So again, I love just the sheen of it, all the texture effects. Well done. Now, Mario himself, this is a running Mario with a giant, blob of paint, giving him kind of like a, a gap of teeth, right? <laughs> this is Hick Farmer Mario, right? From the South, that's his cousin, Southern Mario. Now, you get the little base, it looks like he's running. We've seen this Mario a dozen times. I probably have 30 of these. You can swivel him around. He has minor articulation in the head and the arms and not much, right? But again, that's where the more updated articulation 2.5 inch Mario comes into play because you can really do all of that with that new character, but man, oh man, that's a gap in the teeth right there, right? So you're gonna get your two level bases. You got the purple goo effect going, and basically I'm just gonna speed the camera up because it takes a while to sometimes set these up. So you lay the groundwork, you get the background, you get the parts and pieces, and you insert all the different blocks and make sure everything fits, everything snaps in, so you should be good to go. And when you do that, yeah, it does create quite a cool looking Soda Jungle playset. But I will say this, I love these playsets, don't get me wrong, but some of them work a whole lot better in true let's play with it, especially for the kiddos, right? This one, as you insert all the different parts and pieces from the diorama set, or maybe you have your own from earlier sets, Mario himself, like I said, I think it would have been a lot more effective to have peg holes on this to then put the Mario. It's a little bit thin, right, to kind of stand him on there. You have to get it just right. But in a diorama display sense, yes, it is a very cool looking Soda Jungle level place. And again, a great addition to your 2.5 inch Mario collection. You can hide the coin every which way, right? It's not a very customizable level for the individual parts and pieces it comes with, but the characters you wanna include, of course, you can totally nail that. To show you how the running Marios have changed, right? Not much, so you have Fire Mario, Running Mario. Then you have the newly articulated 2.5 inch, and then the one that the diorama set comes with. Not a whole lot of difference in just standing there, but the articulation definitely is there. So when Mario hops out of the warp pipe, 
you can get him walking, you can get him running. So it does add to the fact of only having one Mario, but if you know my collection, I probably have at least 80 Marios at this point with all the levels that have come out. And then just to mention this element, right here, this little hill right here is a little bit of a slide so kids can play with that and slide Mario right into the poisonous purple goo. Although for me as a collector, I would like to see a eh, game over sort of Mario one of these days. And then just to show you the difference in wiggler size, right? <laughs> Phrasing. You have the larger four inch sort of deal, but he was really 2.5 inch wiggler with the smaller wiggler. Yes, they are exactly the same type of wiggler. It's just a larger and a baby one, right? You get the idea, but they are very cool. It's very N64, very NES, and again, very new Super Mario Brothers U. One of the best aspects is that on the larger wiggler with this new star coin, you can display it and have fun, but again, that's where a little bit of a plastic stand, something to hold the star coin, really would have come in handy to then just elevate the collection. So, that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Jack Specific World of Super Mario 2.5 inch Super Mario Collection, the Soda Jungle playset and the Soda Jungle Diorama set. There's not a whole lot of play features for kids here. There's some elements that, yes, creativity will definitely come into play. There will be enough to let kids play with it, I would say, for a little bit. They might get a little bit bored, but for Super Mario collectors like myself, it's really just a nice diorama set. You can have fun with all the different parts and pieces that you have collected over the years. You can make a nice display for the Soda Jungle, and it really will pop. The purples look good. All the colors match. The yellows of the Wigglers. You can have a lot of fun. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Soda Jungle. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee. Eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what is the next level you want to see made from the Super Mario Brothers video games? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.